Hey everyone, I am here with Team 1533 Triple Strange. I'm here with Annabelle, Lori, and Kevil, and we are going to be talking about this amazing robot they have built, the intake arm, and then their auto align and vision programming system, along with the arm presets. All of this is coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. I will pass it to Annabelle to talk more about the arm and all that entails. All right, so our arm has uh, three different joints. It's got the shoulder joint at the base of the robot, the elbow joint up at the top, and the wrist joint, which pivots the intake. Uh, we actually had to completely redesign our arm after our first event because it broke and didn't work very well. So we have absolute encoders on all of the actual pivot points on the arm so that any uh, chain skipping uh, doesn't mess up any of the arm presets and it's all driven with chains. We actually just swapped our shoulder joint chain to number 35, but everything is redundant in the system, so even if something does break on it, it will still work. It's really interesting to see this, and I know there's so many different archetypes of robots to this year, so what made going with this arm and intake arm design beneficial for your team? We took a lot of inspirations in the design process from other teams, specifically looking at teams from 2018 and how they dealt with having to reach the top of the scale. And we figured we could translate some of that to our arm reaching out to the side. And one of the first things that we thought of using was an arm like this with the crane type motion. So that's just what we want. Okay, thank you. And I will pass it to Lori to talk us more about the intake and what went into that. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, um, we've changed our design for our intake quite a few times as well. At first we had a claw, and then we did something similar to 118's Everybot, um, and now we settled on something pretty similar to Wild Sting's intake, because um, uh, from assembling it, I could tell that simplicity um, might be the best. Um, but yeah, the only changes we really made was uh, we would put our gears on the other side um, for running the wheels of uh, like the wrist motor or the, the pulley. Um, we also added um, like proximity sensors. Um, so we use those to tell like where the game piece is, is in, our, in our intake since we have a pretty wide intake and that helps with like our auto aligning for scoring. Um, and we also have a lot of presets. So this is our uh, standing up uh, cone intake. We don't use that very much. We normally intake from like the feeder station and then that's for cubes, that's for ground cones. And then um, the beauty of this intake is that the cones like just slide right in um, if we're aligned with the single substation. All right, and then here are the scoring, scoring presets. This one's high. All right, and then there's, actually I don't wanna do mid. Um, yeah, that's it, okay. Thank you. And I noticed you guys are using like the belts and stuff like that instead of a more roller bar intake like other teams have been doing. What made this beneficial again? Um, so while I was putting it together, um, like our previous idea just had too many moving parts, uh, like it had more hinging parts. Um, and so I just, when I saw this idea, I just liked it a lot more because it just felt more simple. Um, I mean, I don't know. Awesome. It's really cool to see this. I can tell you guys have put a lot of work into it. I'll pass this over to Kevil to talk more about what all went into the programming and control side to control this awesome robot. Right. So we, we use the limelight uh, to detect the April tags that are present on the field. So it, in Asheville and Mecklenburg, uh, when we were doing some testing to figure out how we can improve our cycle times, 
uh, we found that it was hard to uh, to manually adjust the position of our uh, robot, especially when the uh, robot was far away from where the drivers were standing, uh, because there were other people in the way. So we decided to use the the limelight to help uh, automatically align to the the, the junk uh, the, the poles and. Uh, and therefore allow us to improve the scoring process a lot. Awesome. And what I know you, I saw you guys have a swerve drive. What else have you done in regards to controlling the arms, such as like PID or stuff like that? Right. So uh, on our arm, we use uh, we use profile PIDs uh, in order to get to the correct position. As you saw earlier, that results in very smooth movements. Uh, earlier in the season, we were using trajectories uh, with Bezier curves. However, we found that uh, that this was not only easier but also faster to develop um, to develop a very quick arm. Thank you, guys. Guys, that's really awesome to see how you guys are doing all of this. I want to thank you guys once again for doing this. I wish you guys the best of luck for in the competition. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charge Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.